YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial by the Film Pros. I'm Daniel and now we have three owners. So I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a basic background for YouTube that looks pretty good in the background actually. So what you got to do, you have to have a program called Photoshop CS6 or any type of Photoshop from CS3 to CS6. So we're going to open up Photoshop. Now we're going to go to start it off and to bring up your blank page you're gonna file new and then you're gonna uh, make sure that the width is on 970 and the height is on 1700 pixels remember 970 and 1700 pixels everything else can be left alone because they're all perfect press ok now this is where all the content page is that's where all the links are the featured video page uh... The, basically the content area of the page where all the links are so what you want to do is unlock this background and now you want to get the area around this to get to be able to um, decorate decorate it so make it personalize it to be yours so you're gonna go to file actually no not file <laughs> layer new layer or shift control n <coughs> press ok then drag this layer one below layer zero and then what you want to do is go to image then canvas size. Now everything, make sure it's on pixels, everything has to be on the width above 970. So you can choose uh, 2000 which fits most monitors. So here you got it. <coughs> now remember, you have to make sure that you fill this in with the color that you want. I'm going to fill it in with light blue. Woo, light blue. And then you want to double click on the layer 1. You want to go to uh, gradient overlay, and here you have basic. Uh, it looks, it looks like all the color is on the bottom, and then it fades out on the way to the top. So what you want to do is, uh, you can choose whatever you want from the style: linear, radial, angle, reflected, and diamond. I'm gonna leave it on linear. Now we're gonna go into the gradient. We're going to press on here the gradient tab. And you want to press this little box and choose the color you want it. Uh, I'm just going to eyedropper and click the blue I already took. Press OK. And if you want a top color or leave it white, that's fine. But if you want a top color, make sure you click this little box over here and click the color box. And then go to whatever color you want to put on. I'm going to just put on black. Now we got it already done and we're gonna press OK now from here you can do whatever you want but if you want more detail and look a little bit sicker you can go to layer new layer press OK and now what you want to do is we're gonna make some stripes so file new and we're gonna make this one pixel by ten pixels see that little thing that's what we're gonna decorate we're going to uh, zoom in by 3200 and click on the background eraser tool and erase the background. <coughs> now, what you want to do is go to the pencil tool and make sure that it fits in here, fits in the pixel, it's one pixel. Then you're going to choose the color that you want. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and put in here the blue and color in the first two pixels. From here, you're going to go to layer, actually edit, and define pattern. From here, you're going to save the pattern, whatever you want to call it. Pattern, line, whatever, whatever you want. I already have my pattern saved, and make sure you save it when you uh, make yours, but I already have my saved, so I don't have to worry about it. So, what you want to do, how do you open this up? First off, make sure that layer 2 is painted in black. Don't worry. Your blue, your background will come back. Double click on layer 2, go to pattern overlay, and go to the pattern that you chose. And press OK. Now here, choose the opacity, a low opacity. You see, your ba your, ba your background's back. Now go to any opacity you want. I'm going to just put it on 25. Actually, 20 would be better. There we go. And see, you got your lines right there. From here, you can decorate whatever you want. You can put text on. I'm just going to put 
film. Oh, by the way, make sure that this is on vertical text so it's easier to type in. So I'm just going to type this in. Film pros. And from here you can decorate the text like double clicking the text, putting outer glow on it, uh, random color, size, spread, range, spread, range. See, you see it's a little bit glowing like that. You can put whatever text you want on here like um, subscribe. And you can put this with a, a yellowish glow of a size pretty big a range so you can put whatever you want it is your background and you are free to put whatever you want on here so, but that's how you basically make a background if you do have a logo put it on there go ahead knock yourself out but anyways that's how you make a simple background it's not that hard at all please make sure to subscribe comment and like I'll see you guys later and if you want to prefer um, prefer a tutorial and ask us to do a tutorial, knock yourself out. I'll be more than happy to do it. That gives me more time and I'll be very happy to do the tutorial for you guys. Alright, next video coming out to either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, my friend will be posting up a new video and this channel has three new owners and we will be posting up gaming, entertainment like short films, more tutorials and more editing of our editing skills. So make sure to leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, whatever you want to comment and make sure there's nothing inappropriate because I will delete it and thanks a lot for watching guys uh, more description will be in the description below see you guys later remember to comment like subscribe and leave a pref preferred tutorial if you want thanks